Howdy, how's it going everybody? So I have something interesting today that I want to cover, and it was mostly regarding what I want to do with my channel next. I have a couple of different games that are newer games that I would like to do, all this other stuff, but before I go ahead and tackle that, I realized before I jump into a new Let's Play, I could also tie up a number of loose ends on the channel. So I want to go ahead and put it to a poll to you guys, more or less, just based off of your comments and the like on this video. So just just let me know what you think about this all together, but we're going to go ahead and summarize pretty much everything that I have done on the channel and what you guys would like to personally see. This is where you guys have the ultimate voice to know where your... I want to know where my audience is based off of the games that I am playing. And I don't want to go back and play a game and realize that nobody ever gave a shit about it in any way, shape, or form. So we're, let's just go over all of the unfinished Let's Plays that I have and briefly summarize the games then, shall we? Let's start there. So I believe I went bottom up. I literally went through every playlist that I have ever done. And one that I realized I haven't touched in a very long time, actually, is uh, Moon Hunters, which is like a roguelite RPG dungeon crawler game that gives you like a set amount of time to strengthen your character and then ultimately face off against the antagonist of the game. The allure behind Moon Hunters is that it also claims to be a personality test. So depending on your decisions, you receive like a certain result at the end that tells you like about your character and how they were throughout their life and stuff, which is kind of neat, actually. So... Going forward, Creativerse is another one. This is a free-to-play Minecraft clone with a far superior combat system to it, and I nearly reached the end of the progression ladder before I just ultimately lost interest in recording it as much. But it was a pretty solid game, and I would like to at least get to the end of the progression ladder before I completely put that on the fucking bench and never touch it again. Uh, Deltarune is another game that I never completed. Yes, the almighty spiritual successor to Undertale. That is correct. I have never completed the first chapter of it. Sue me. Pocket Mirror is another game, which is an RPG horror game that I was originally playing with Holly a while back, and I still have our original footage, specifically so that I can do a proper edit when I do the next video in sequence. It looked really promising for an RPG horror, and for those of you who are newer to my channel, this genre of games goes back to my original roots of how the channel even came into existence, more or less. And I will be coming back to finish this game eventually. Like, honestly, if you guys look at my channel banner, you might realize some of the characters are actually from common RPG horrors. That's, that's, mo that's everybody on the banner, with the exception of my avatar. So, that's where that came from. And now for two games that are probably the most desired by those of you who follow me, which is Boundless and Starbound. And regardless of the results that I get in the comments of this video, I'm probably just going to continue both of these games anyway. I don't think that I need to describe either of them, but just in case, both of these games belong to the block-style survival crafting genre. The difference is that Starbound is pixel, and Boundless is voxel-based. There you go. Are you happy, Internet? Anyway, that's a joke because people keep busting my balls over my Starbound video in 2019, but the point is that Starbound is 2D and Boundless is 3D. Another thing is I've also dropped completely off of the planet playing Atelier Ryza, if anyone is interested in a JRPG, but that, that shit is a goddamn nightmare for a Let's Play since it just has so much downtime, and to me, it'll only capture the attention of a very specific niche audience, which isn't exactly a problem to me, but as I say all the time to you guys, if I'm going to sink hours into a fucking JRPG or a game and just sink hours and hours and hours into a game only on camera for my channel and sink that much time into it, I would like to make sure there's an audience behind the game, that's all. As a side note as well, ladies and gentlemen, there are a number of playlists on my channel that are 100% considered to be definitively at its end despite the fact that they ended prematurely. Code Vein and Valhalla are the most recent examples of this, since I wanted to play Code Vein off-camera and have literally 200-plus fucking hours in that game right now, so I'm long past where that recording ended. And I also made it a rule to only record Valhalla with Holly, so this one is simply on standby. It's not dead, it's just on standby until this shit is more or less over with the pandemic and everything, so I can actually start recording with Holly again. 
Pitch Black is another incomplete Let's Play that is awaiting the full release, or at least a new update that allows me to re-download the game and see what's changed. I've still been following, I won't say closely, but I have been following loosely everything that Louis Ferru Dev puts on Game Jolt, so I'll know when something happens, at least in a remotely timely manner. However, if you guys want me to jump back into it and you know that the game is on release or something, let me know. By all means, I want to get back into playing Pitch Black when the game is fully released so fucking bad. I've talked to this dev, and she has actually made changes in the game, I believe, depending on my own feedback as well. Specifically with, like, the wall, uh, the wall sliding mechanic, because you can, like, walk into a wall. How, how do I explain this? So, in RPG horrors, you can only go left, up, right, and down, right? Or some of them, there's eight directions to go diagonally. So, if you hold in down, say that you're facing the wall that way, and then you hold left or right as you're still walking into the wall, uh, the character Claire, the main character in that game, will now do a special animation for it. And I made that a very specific thing that I had noted there. Because it's just not, it's just wicked easy to forget the wall walking mechanic that you have to do at a certain point to advance. So I was like, maybe you could just make that a regular mechanic like the light in. It was interesting to see that she made a change based off of that. So she's actually paying attention to what people are saying about the game, which is fucking great. But going back to the point here, my time at Portia is also considered a dead Let's Play right now. However, if that's something that really does have an audience behind it, I could revisit the game and fuck around a bit, but I'm not ever going to take that game remotely seriously, to be honest with you. I've also gone a little beyond where the Let's Play ended, so keep that as a note. Going back to the days of old, I did do a playthrough of Shadow of the Colossus with Chelsea, which is considered dead at this point, since the game is on Chelsea's PS3, which would be extraordinarily hard to fucking record, considering that she lives on the opposite end of the goddamn country right now. Anything else on my channel are also games that I just don't plan on revisiting, but I could also jump back into for funsies. These games will include, but are not limited to, Chronicon, Ruby, Grim Eclipse, Path of Exile, Unturned, Abe's Odyssey, The Long Dark, Sanctuary RPG Black, Slime Rancher, and of course, Yume Tuki. Fucking nightmare of a game that it is. I do plan on revisiting Minecraft at some point just to get something... I, I need to have something structured for a mod pack and a goal in mind for the series, though. And No More Room in Hell is also a game that I plan on revisiting. It's a zombie survival full conversion mod for the Source engine, which is actually pretty bomb-ass. And that really concludes everything right there, guys. If there's anything that I forgot to list here that you're curious about, then let me know. It's most likely because I consider the game to be a spontaneous upload rather than a dedicated series. Why I haven't, like, mentioned it, that is. A one-off, if you will. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and cut this right here. This went on longer than I expected it to, but that should summarize everything that I have done on my channel for the most part. And, again, just let me know what you guys would like to see for older videos, older Let's Plays and shit that I have touched on that you are interested in and what their futures might be. This is the time to have your voice heard. Whether you lurk or whether you don't, it doesn't matter. Just let me know what you guys think about future Let's Plays and what you would like to see before I jump into a new game. Please, by all means.